A brand new feature has been confirmed by 343 to be added into Halo Infinite for Forge Mode. Stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. Well, how's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving you some news information when it comes to Halo Infinite. If you guys like these news informational videos, please make sure to tap that like button. Let me know if you want to see some more content like this. Leave a comment down below with your thoughts on this feature that's been added into Halo Forge, Halo Infinite's Forge. And if you're new to the channel, we'll stay up to date with anything Halo related or on the channel. Make sure to tap subscribe with the bell. It keeps you notified with anything going on, on the channel. So let's get right into the content here. So as you may have probably noticed, the news coming in for Halo Infinite, it's been pretty damn slow and I think that's really just because there's a lot of things going on with the game at the moment I mean all we've seen is really just kind of tidbits of the stuff from the trailer that we've come to you know know and look over and over and over again and uh, we haven't really heard much but recently at Halo Outpost in Anaheim the very last Halo Outpost of the year that we actually got a little bit of Halo Infinite Forge little information tidbit for you guys. At Halo Outpost, they were hosting uh, various panels there, one of the panels being Forge related. And actually, uh, one of the four, if Halo Infinite Forge lead, Michael, I'm not sure I pronounced this correctly, Shore, S-C-H-O-O-R-R, -R, something like that, uh, was actually part of it. And he was able to you know, talk with the community about what's coming for the next uh, Forge mode for Halo Infinite. Um, on Forge Hub, they have a big list of things they want to see brought to the game, which is very important for 343 to know. Uh, things, terrain editor, liquid volumes, uh, higher budget rates, and some of these features of these were not really mentioned or confirmed or anything like that. Uh, they were just talked about. Uh, but one thing has been confirmed for Halo Infinite to be for the Forge mode. That's going to be an undo slash redo button has been confirmed in Halo Infinite's Forge. Now you're probably thinking, yeah, okay, cool. Like that's whatever. Like that's a redo button. Like is that really common? Well, not for Forge. This is the first time we're ever going to be seeing an undo or redo button brought into Halo Forge, which is kind of crazy thing. It take this long to have it happen. I'm sure with some of the limitations of the engine and just. Uh, ingenuity of the program itself probably is limiting right there uh, but that's the reason why they're kind of rebuilding up this brand new engine of slip space so then they can capture the things that they want to do with halo and you know execute them properly and so one of the things that's been highly requested over the years is the undo slash redo button if you guys have ever done anything in forge you probably have come across the frustration of accidentally deleting something or moving something by accident there's a lot of accidental things that happen when you're forging. Uh, I haven't really forged a whole lot in Halo 5 or 4, but in Reach and Halo 3, I did it a ton. And let me tell you, there's so many times I was like, oh, I gotta revert back to my last save because I accidentally deleted this thing or accidentally moved a thing. So being able to add in an undo or redo button, it's absolutely huge for the Forge community. I guarantee it will really speed up the process when it comes to putting out more maps for the community to play along with. And so this is just a great addition to be added in there. Again, like no other words on the other uh, things to be confirmed for Halo Infinite. Uh, they actually did confirm this on the recent live stream, the social stream that uh, 343 does every Wednesday it is, yeah. And uh, they brought Michael Shore on to talk about Forge a little bit of a money just kind of hang out and play video games and uh, the only thing he could mention was that there's an undo and redo button for forge also, michael shore also kind of mentions how the forge capabilities are going to try to be like on par with professional level building software now that's what i'm pretty sure that way meant by level building software being that the stuff that you can use maybe use uh like cell shaded maps that you do before you kind of texture them all up and so you can probably make a pretty decent map just based off of that. Now when it comes to like lighting, texturing, uh, things that really kind of get that nice polish on maps, make them look like a developer-made map, can be a little tricky. I mean, we but we did see some great additions when it comes to Far Cry 5's map editor. It's absolutely fantastic. It looks amazing. The only problem is that it's actually a, the usability of those maps is very difficult because it's hard to find those games and play them. Uh, so that's the only problem with that, though. If they add in something like a content browser like Halo, Halo 5 does, I guarantee you'd see it come around a lot more often. But with uh, Halo, F I mean, sorry, with uh, Far Cry 5's uh, map editor, they were able to add in AI. The maps looked fantastic, like basically borderline 
uh, developer made maps. It would be oh, some maps I'm sure were probably indistinguishable. And I did make a video about this a few, um, I guess years ago now at this point, uh, just talking about how that map editor really changed the game when it came to user generated content, UGC for short. Uh, within games to where they really kind of set the bar up to where other games like if you're going to make a map editor It needs to be this good uh, Gears 5 recently added in a map editor and it's more just kind of like Copy paste different sections. You can play some kind of enemies you want stuff like that So it's a very basic level map editor to try to I think what they're trying to do is just try to get people to play around with it Very easy to get into and just you know create content and so then for the escape mode So then they can just keep reusing those assets which they are professionally made assets And they just kind of copy and paste whatever you want in there and so it's pretty basic, not super customizable, but it's a great addition to the game as well. So we see that more and more uh, UGC, user-generated content, programs being added into games being a very prominent thing. And so uh, I don't think, I wouldn't expect Forge to overtake uh, professional made maps. I think uh, you know, you're always going to want those because there's always going to be some level of polish that developers can do over the creators themselves. But um, I think with Halo, 4, Halo Infinite's Forge, I should say, we're going to see a very thin line between developer and UGC uh, maps. And that's super, and here's how like a undo redo button being added in is just super great. And it's uh, such a, a wonderful, much needed addition to the Forge. And makes me know that, that 343 at least is listening at some point about what players would like to see. So guys, are you forgers in this game as well? In Halo 5, do you guys forge maps or anything about previously? And, you know, would a redo, undo button really help you out? You know, let me know in the comment section down below. I do read all the comments and try to reply to them, most of them as well. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to tap subscribe. Keep you updated with everything going on the channel. If you like this news information video, learn something from it, make sure to tap that like button. Let's know if you want to see some more content like this. And if you're new to the channel or miss any content from me, check out the videos on the screen right now. And I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.